Hello there. We need to have a talk about Reality Check Radio, which is, if you haven't heard yet, Voices for Freedom's new media outlet. Hmm. Which is an online streaming radio service like the platform. There's a couple of things that you need to take on board here. The first is that Reality Check is probably not something that New Zealand's largest spreaders of disinformation are going to be experts on, but they'll think they are and they'll tell you that they are. Secondly, online streaming radio is a bit different to traditional broadcast radio, and there's a few factors that come into play there. First of all, it's not a podcast where you can go back and re-listen to stuff, it streams live. So for content that's on there that you want to listen to again or want to get um, sort of recordings of, you better hope that they put it up online somewhere or you're recording it yourself and that just seems like an awful lot of effort for things that are bound to be incredibly wrong. The second thing to remember is that while there is a relatively cheap and easy way to set up an actual broadcast space for them, getting out there and streaming and using an online streaming service to create an online radio station can only be done two ways. With a free service where you have ads in there or with a paid service where you don't have ads in there. Something like the platform is a paid service, so the ads that are in there are advertisers that have paid to be through the platform. But for something like a free service, the people that provide the service provide those ads. And not necessarily all of them are going to be keen on being advertised on an organisation like Voices for Freedom. And if that's not what they're going with, who is funding? their particular media output. Be very interesting to see how that goes. The other thing and the most important thing to remember is streaming services in this country do not have any requirement to meet any kind of rules under the Broadcasting Standards Authority. So um, they can do and say pretty much whatever they want as long as it's not a personal attack on somebody that could be seen as slanderous because that's a very different set of laws. Broadcasting standards do not apply to streamed services, which is really awkward, which is one of the reasons why something like the platform can do and say what they want without having to be sort of pulled up by the BSA. So you can see how Voices for Freedom would see something like this is really good because they can do and say what they want without broadcasting standards coming and going, you know what? We're really not happy with you. Hmm, maybe just don't listen. It's much easier. <laughs>